Thank you for joining me today. Oh, well, thank you for joining me six months ago. Well, I must say, at the moment, I'm feeling pretty positive, pretty on top of it all. Do you remember feeling like that six months ago? Well, of course I remember feeling like that six months ago. You know I do. You, of all people, should know that. That's not so much a proper interview question as it is a, a setup for a punchline that would arrive six months later. You got me. You've got to get up pretty early in the morning if you want to put one over on me. Well, I did get up early this morning. You remember. What's the main piece of advice you'd give me about writing the second half of the novel? Just keep slogging away. Some weeks will be harder than others, but keep soldiering on. Don't get complacent when you are ahead, but just keep chipping away. And you will get there. Overall, what was the worst thing about writing the novel in this way? Uh, in the beginning, I really struggled to meet those weekly deadlines, uh, as you know. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I vastly underestimated the amount of, uh, of time that the pre-production uh, process would, would take, all the, the laying of the foundations and the planning and sort of getting everything ready to go. Uh, <clears throat> and in the early uh, chapters, I was still working on Mad as Hell at the same time, and you know that there was that one early chapter where I only finished writing at 11 o'clock on Friday morning, so just with about an hour to spare before it uh, went online. So, yeah, time management at the beginning was, was a challenge. What was the biggest mistake you made? Or oh, I made. You know. The whodunit story strand was way underdeveloped. Uh, I really bit off more than I could chew there. I'm, I'm not sort of very happy with the way that turned out. Uh, writing whodunits is really, really hard. Uh, and so when I go in for the great big edit, there'll be some massive overhauling uh, and rejigging of that particular uh, part of the story. Um, also, I'm very aware, um, as are you, that uh, there are far too many characters. Mm, mm, mm. I started out with a lot, as you know, because I knew that not all of them would make it through to the end, but I think I overdid it and along the way I, I, some are very much surplus to requirements so in the edit I'll, I'll go in and lose some characters and combine some characters and just sort of make that all a bit more streamlined and easier for the reader to uh, keep track of who's who. What have you learned about yourself? I could ask you the same question. Well I think you kind of have. Yeah fair enough. Um, <clears throat> I learned that I can be motivated and stick to it, uh, uh, and so that was a good thing. I, I learned uh, that I really enjoyed having free reign and unfettered access to this great big um, broad canvas, this enormous playground that I'd set, set up for myself to throw any and every idea into. Um, also, I, it just was fun, and it, it was really good for my mental health, I think. I was always, it, when I wasn't at the desk writing, it was still ticking away in the back of my mind and it's great to have the brain whirring away in the background on solving the problems that you set up or, or um, <clears throat> making the links or making the callbacks or the, um, the echoes or the, or the um, sort of uh, um, planting seeds that will be paid off later on. All of those little story elements sort of percolating away in the back of the mind. It's very, very stimulating. It's great. It's great. Love that. As you know. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. How was the response from the outside world along the way? And how did that compare to the way you thought it would be? It's been nice. I, I have a few followers, by which I mean um, around <laughs> 10 or so. Um, <clears throat> I had hoped that during the weekly posting that people would comment in, in the comment section below the posts and we could get a bit of a dialogue, a bit of a conversation going and people would tell me what they like or didn't like, which characters they liked and didn't like or even have suggestions for what happens next. That never happened, that never eventuated, um, but that's down to me. I, I'm not very good at self-promoting and, and the marketing side of things and really driving that and putting it out there. Mm, mm, mm. Also, it's a full-time job, it's a, and I was busy enough just writing the thing. I couldn't do, I didn't feel I could do both the marketing promotion of the product and create the product at, at the same time. So now that it's done, what do Judy and Lily think about this whole thing? Huh. Um, well, I, I think they're proud. I hope they're proud. Um, <clears throat> one of the great things has been 
being able to model this for Lily. Lily's 13 now, and I've enjoyed being able to show her that if she has a kooky, crazy, creative idea, then uh, she should follow it through, and it can be done, and it can be really fun and rewarding. And uh, so I was able, I was really glad that I was able to, you know, it, show her that, and um, all the benefits that I'm getting from it. Earlier on, she was very. Uh, um, <clears throat> enthusiastic about cheering me on, she wrote me this note. You can do it, you're doing great, keep going. Nearly there. Hi Dad, love Lily. This is the note. If you can read that. But um, yeah, so she was really spurring me on and she wrote this um, in about week five. <laughs> so that was stuck to my computer to spur me on. Oh, uh, are you fostering a dog at the moment? Yes, we are. I'd like you to meet Gracie, who's been with us since the end of November. There she is. Ah. Ah. Hello, cute little foster dog whose very existence I'm not even aware of yet. Now that you've done it, what advice would you give to anyone who wanted to attempt something similar to this? Go for it. Back yourself. Break it down into little steps, and step by step by step by step by step, you'll climb the mountain. After a while, you'll, you'll look back and you'll be amazed at how far you've come. You can do it. You can do it. Just plug away. If you need extra incentive, make a, make a, a, a public promise. Be held account, make yourself accountable to that. But um, the sense of achievement is just great. And you've got nothing to lose. Go for it. Did you ever manage to get ten chapters ahead? Please, please tell me that you did. No, sorry. Damn! I really hoped that I'd get to include the response that I recorded if the answer was yes. <sighs> okay, well what was the furthest you did get ahead then? Well I did manage to get seven chapters ahead and that felt pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's alright. Well, this has been great. Uh, look, I, I'm going to have to get going. How do you excuse the sheer self-indulgence and narcissism of interviewing yourself and then editing it into a video like this and putting it online? I don't. Well, I hope all that was helpful for you. Now that you know all of that, go ahead, put it into practice, and I'm sure the end product will be much better for it. But I can't do that. That's just not possible, given the way time works. I mean, I'm you from six months ago, remember? Oh, yeah. Well, why did we do this, then? Seemed like a good idea at the time. A good idea at the time? At whose time? Do you mean at your time or at my time? At our time? Oh, now I'm confused. Well, how do you think I feel? Should we just leave it there? I think it would be best. Thanks for your time today. Oh, well, thanks for my time six months ago. You're welcome. You're welcome.